So this is one of two barns. Yes, it is. This is our second barn, our largest barn, with our oldest fish in it. And so when you say oldest fish, I mean, they're old. Yes, they're about 12 years, the oldest fish in here right now. Mm -hmm. So all the fish that are sorted um, come into this barn, and that's where they get um, screened frequently, and where we ultimately take them into staging and harvest them. So what I think is really interesting about these fish is that you can't tell looking at the outside, whether it's a male or a female, and no. so they commingle essentially until maybe they're how old? Uh, about five years typically is when we start ultrasounding. So we have to put a probe on their belly and um, essentially look inside uh, to see the ovary. And that's how we determine whether it's a male or a female. Unbelievable. That's the only way. So every single one of these fish, just like, you know, if you're pregnant, you're using ultrasound to see inside of its body. Exactly, yes. I think that people might look at a farm like this and think, oh, you just put the fish in the tank and then you just kind of leave them. There's a lot that you're doing to care for these fish. Yes, it is a lot of work. It's very labor intensive and it's, uh, it's difficult because you have to do this um, in the summer and in the winter and extreme temperatures. So it's definitely, um, yeah, not as fancy as the end product. Yeah. When people walk through What's their first question about these fish or about the farm? How many fish do you have? How big do they get? So we have around 35,000 fish between both facilities. Our fish at harvest are between 20 and 50 pounds, depending on the age and the yeah. size of the female, that particular female. So today we harvested a female that was only just barely 20 pounds, but sometimes, you know, you can, you can run into a 50 pounder. So it's really a smaller species of sturgeon compared to other sturgeon species. The Russian sturgeon is petite. So how do you feed them? What is the method of feeding these animals? So we use a palleted diet. It's specifically designed for sturgeon. It's a fast sinking diet. Sturgeon are bottom feeders. They have no teeth. Uh, so they pick up the food entirely from the bottom of the tank. So that's very important. We get the diet from specialized companies and we work closely with them to make sure it has everything the sturgeon needs to grow. Females are very particular not to accumulate too much fat. That could affect later on the caviar quality. So a long planning process, a long screening process, already at the age of two or three, you're trying to influence the quality of the caviar four years down the road. 